Jeremy Ellis here, maker of rockzeta.com. Um, I'm going to make a video about Capacitor. Capacitor is kind of the next version of Adobe uh, Apache Cordova or Adobe PhoneGap. Um, Ionic seems to be supporting it. So let's go to a screen share. And here we go. This is my website. There's uh, what I've been working on the last couple of weeks is Gitpod. And what I'm going to make is somewhere on this page to be able to find uh, the link to, I've called it Gitpod Ionic Cordova, but it's actually going to be about capacitors. So what we're going to do here is put gitpod.io slash number sign. Um, oh, wait a sec. I want to open up a new window. I always do them in new windows. That way it can kind of process on its own. So git pod dot io slash number sign. And what that does is it loads a Docker image. Now it's not just a normal Docker image. I had to do some work with it. Uh, in the um, uh, GitHub repository, you can see the actual Docker file that makes the Docker image, but it works hand in hand with a dot git pod YAML file which does some of the extra um, side stuff for the actual local folder. So this will generate, there it goes, went kind of quick. Sometimes it's two or three minutes. Uh, oh, it is, looks like it's still kind of opening up some things. So what this is, is I wanted to kind of get back into um, making hybrid apps. I, I simplify machine learning uh, programs using JavaScript TensorFlow.js. And since it's in JavaScript, we might as well make it into like an Android app. Uh, while researching this for Ionic, which seems to be kind of the new Cordova, I found out about Capacitor three days ago. And Capacitor seems to be sort of the next level because not only can you make Android and iOS apps, but it can also make desktop um, uh, applications for Linux, Mac, and Windows, and uh, web pages. Um, the actual file you make kind of looks like a web page, but not really, but then it generates all these things. So here's the, um, here's the, well, what you get. And basically what it has is, let's full screen this. Um, it has all your files and I have a bunch of bash files here. Uh, the one I'm interested in is this one. Uh, basically it's gonna ask for a, um, file name and then it's going to run capacitor create uh, using that file name and then it's going to CD into the folder you just created and it's going to add Android and then it's going to do some Gradle stuff. Uh, then it's going to go into the Android folder and export. Um, well, it's going to run Gradle and Gradle, oh, that's just uh, setting up Android Home. I might do that some other way in my yeah, .github yaml file. And then it's gonna uh, do an assemble debug. Let's, let's get that thing going, because it does take a little bit of time. So AO6 tab, there is exactly this bash file. Um, run it, uh, no idea what to call this. Let's call it cap uh, two. And it should quite quickly make a folder up here. So much for doing that quickly. Uh, there it is. And you can see some of the file uh, structure. Now, here's your WW. That's quite important because it's going to have your index file. We can actually have a look at that at the moment. It sort of looks like a web page. You've got your uh, style sheet. I'm assuming there's a JS file here somewhere. It uh, looks like you're loading a module. Um, and then, so we've got a couple of script files. I'm looking for the JS script file. Um, there we go. Capacitor JS file is a generated file. And then this is the other file that's gonna do most of the work. So let's go look in that JS folder and have a quick look at this file. And you know, doesn't really look like a JavaScript. It looks like an object-oriented JavaScript page, which is probably a good idea. Capacitor seems to be an MIT project uh, made in about uh, 2018, so it's still pretty new. Uh, looking through this file, um, 
Uh, it's got a callback. It's, I actually, as I said, I learned about Capacitor three days ago. So I'm just trying to make this thing run. Uh, it looks like it's done. It looks like build success. So I can probably go into my Cat2 folder, Android, App, Build, Outputs, APK, Debug. There it is. There's my debug app that I can load on a cell phone. Uh, I'm going to refresh this page, and it has um, a QR code. Now, last time I shared that QR code um, with my Android device, but this time I think I'm going to uh, stop sharing the screen and just show you this uh, device. Well, maybe ugh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get my cell phone um ooh, i just lost that page uh, let's move the page over and i'm going to use the cell phone i'm going to use the qr code um and what it says can you see that at all oh my cell phone stopped okay so it's open url that won't be a live url for very long and there if i zoom in it's got the same screen that we were just looking at. Come on, light. Yeah, right. And so that QR code just loads this web page. And then I can click on that, U um, that URL there. And let's click on it again. And can you see that? Lighting's pretty bad. So I'm going to open that debug and open it again. Let's see if I can dip some of the lighting here. It's pretty bad. And then install it. And first time I messed up on this install page because I clicked OK. Can you even read that? Why is this so bright? Move it back. There we go. Install anyway. And sorry about the brightness there. App installed. Open it up. Let's just turn down my cell phone brightness. There we go. So there is the camera app on my cell phone. Uh, take a picture, allow, allow, take picture. And there I'm going to uh, take a picture. I don't know if it took the picture. There it goes. The picture is OK. And it throws that picture on probably a canvas. So just kind of proof that it works, capacitor works. Uh, that was pretty quick. I've been looking for uh, tutorials online and it's a bit confusing. Installing Android SDKs, a pain. Uh, let's get back to the share so that you can see my screen again. Um, share it. So, Just want to kind of conclude this uh, once again. Ooh, we don't need to look at the app. Um, what do we have here? We have an index HTML. It looks like most of the program is in this capacitor welcome.js file. So my next job is to understand what the heck is going on here. But at least I, I've got it working. And that is capacitor on Gitpod. Um, quite quickly onto your phone and hope you can use it and enjoy it. Stop.